flat and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. It's been over 20 years since a young man from England, Paul Whitworth, first appeared on stage at Shakespeare Santa Cruz. Longtime theater goer and benefactor George Au will never forget the moment. And I said, who is this guy? He seemed like, to me, a, a, a young Laurence Olivier. Oh, villain! Villain! Smiling, damned villain! But Paul Whitworth wasn't always this way. Yeah, no, I was, I was quite shy. I was sent away to boarding school when I was 10, uh, which was a shock. It was very severe. No curtains, no carpets, no girls. But the school did produce plays, and Paul was mesmerized. His first role took courage and creativity. Then I played Kate, one of the captain's daughters, uh, in the Pirates of Penzance, in a beautiful blonde wig, and a pair of false boobs, and a very lovely dress, and I had a parasol, and I sang a little four-line sailor. He proved to be a gifted actor. While still a student at Oxford, Paul earned a spot with the Royal Shakespeare Company, later taking roles in the United States, including Santa Cruz. And Paul's other half emerged, the scholar. Now when he toured, he also lectured. And unhappy with his portrayals of Hamlet, Paul created a traveling lecture analyzing the role. And he resurrected and translated The Rape of Tamar, a 400-year-old Spanish masterpiece. And in 1987, Paul became professor in residence at the one place where his diverse talents could converge and blossom, UC Santa Cruz. What did fascinate me was the fact that uh, a university was the home for a professional theatre company. I mean, that was the first inkling I had that I might be able to sort of join my two passions together, scholarship and performance. In 1995, he did. Professor Paul Whitworth also became artistic director of Shakespeare Santa Cruz, producing the schedule, designing sets and directing and writing, auditioning almost 1,000 actors a year, creating a winter pantomime series with playwright and spouse Kate Holly, and all the while attracting critical acclaim while still acting. Now is the winter of our discontent Made the way that he spoke and moved and acted, I said, we are so lucky to have this man here. You see, it's got a surprise ingredient here. And Paul found in Shakespeare Santa Cruz both a way to unite his talents and a way to unite his community. It was a real joy to have a town of this size not that much smaller than Shakespeare's London, um, and to have a conversation. You can see this collaboration, this uh, wonderful collaboration. There is a way that theatre communicates itself from one imagination to another. It is maybe the epitome or the, um, the example of the great things that can be done when the university and the town work together. It's a corny old phrase, but can change lives. Over a 12-year span, he made Shakespeare Santa Cruz stronger than ever, and then stepped aside. Did I like being artistic director? Yes. Yeah, hugely. Yeah. But he continues to perform and teach and do research. After all, for Paul Whitworth, all the world's a stage and a classroom, where he explores the great imaginations. <laughs>